Hey, what is up guys? Today, as you can see, we are playing the brand new 1.4.0 update and I'm going to be showing you a brand new exclusive item which is a little bit unusual to get. So there's uh, there's just one of these and this new feature that was incorporated uh, sort of ties in with this new item, let's say. I don't want to spoil too much. I mean, from the uh, thumbnail, you'll know a little bit, but not too much. But as you can see... For some other videos, we have skipped to Sunday, August the 2nd, which means another fireworks show. So, for this, all you will need is a balloon, which, as Isabel's just kindly mentioned for me there, uh, we are going to need to speak to Red and buy a balloon. Luckily, I already have one, and you're also going to need a shovel, which I'm sure by this point most of you have got, and if you do wonder how to get the balloon you just go to red and for 500 bells you can enter his raffle but i am going to have a video on that so make sure you guys stay tuned but as i said all you're going to need is a balloon we've gone for a, a nice pink one i may have lost my red one doing this but that's fine and as you may have gathered after we've uh, just grabbed the shovel there we've got uh, some stuff in our inventory which is which is normally significant to hitting rocks so you are going to need to do that. It doesn't have to be a gold shovel, but I am just flexing. So let's hit it and hope we can get a gold nugget. So we're going to make sure we don't suddenly just stop halfway through without getting our, our lovely golden nugget. Is it in this one? No. And guys, it is important if you are time traveling to do this because I've had a couple of days where I've not actually been able to get anything while time traveling. Uh, and then the day after, I actually left the stuff around. So it is important that you do pick up the stuff around the rocks. But you guys know more than me, so I'm sure you already knew that fun little fact. But hey, if you didn't, there you go. And I mean, if you have a little rock garden, this will probably be ten times easier than what I have to do here. But you know, that's fine. Maybe I should have made one. Maybe I will make one for a video. Who knows? But let's see if we can get a golden nugget this time. So I roughly know where the other ones are. Uh, we're sort of going over the best place ones at the minute. But, again, no such luck. So if we don't get it, we will, of course, um, just skip ahead or, like, time lapse or something. But let's just see if we can get it with what we've got. So as you can see, I had to I had to clear up around the, uh, the area. There was flowers sort of overgrown here. I do really need to clean up my island. And we, we will be doing that as a stream, sort of making over the island, flatten it potentially, uh, and just sort of going from there. But again, three rocks and still nothing. Uh, like I say, we've got one more good placed one where we should have uh, at least eight tiles around it free. But we've... Uh, oh, so we've got two good ones. One sort of in a good spot, but a bit obscured by this uh, lovely tree. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit and hope. And it does have to be a new golden nugget as well, guys. So you can't just uh, pull one out of your inventory. I've tried. Very sad. I know you will have to uh, work a little bit for this one. Okay, so I think that's everything. There we go. Nothing from this one either. Which uh, would have looked real suspect though if I'd have um, if I'd have just uh, taken it off the floor there and it was hidden behind the tree the whole time. But luckily, sort of, it's not that one. But let's uh, carry on. Okay, so you will get a money rock as well. Uh, and this is just sort of um, a good way to show you that you're not going to get this every time. So it's not now guaranteed after the update to only have good stuff coming out of your rocks, so there's not like a, an increase in gold. I mean, if anything, this feels like a decrease. But uh, we've got, I believe, one final rock, so let's hope that's it. And I mean, that'd just be a typical YouTuber thing. Oh my god, if it's uh, if it's gold. It is. Very typical YouTuber, I know. But I didn't plan this. You could see the clip was uncut. Thankfully, I didn't need to cut it. So, here we go. We are just going to pick this up. And looking at this shiny gold nugget is making me feel like royalty. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. And uh, he looks uh, very scary there. So, as you can see, if we go to DIY recipes, we've now got that little red flash. Which always means something good. And there we go. We've got a King Tut mask. So, what we're going to do is we are going to quickly saunter back over to our house. And uh, we're going to get those gold nuggets. I mean, you can see we're not going to rely on the rocks. I can tell you that for certainty. So, let's just head back. It'll be sad seeing this island gone. But uh, if you guys are looking forward to the series of me redoing my island, let me know and I can probably fast track a start for it. We do have a few other projects going on, which I'll hopefully be announcing 
and possibly even posting over the next couple of days. But for now, as you can see, we've just got the golden nugget. We've got a craft table, but we need five golden nuggets. And if you guys do need like any items or anything, just head over to my Discord. As you can see, we've um we've got an abundance of golden nuggets. So we are we are overcompensating a little bit, but that's totally fine. Should I craft something? Let's craft. Curious to see what this looks like with um with the suit, the uh, space suit we've got. I mean, we could do we could do the gold armor, but um we'll just do the King Tut mask. And I mean, if you've got anchor on your island, this is going to look incredible. I mean, if it places quite nicely, you could put it outside of our house as well. Uh, and I do actually have a friend who's made an awesome Egyptian island. And I think I've still got the clip from one of my live streams. So what I might do is roll it at the end of this video. So obviously I'll sort of end the video as normal. But if you stay till the end, you can see a cool Egyptian themed sort of island slash house that was just made for anchor. So it was, um, I believe it was Osin, and it was his favourite villager. Uh, I don't know if he's upgraded it since then, but we might show off the whole island with the uh, the new Dream Suite. So if you do want your Dream Suite checking out, drop it in the Discord. But for now, we are just going to want to put this mask on. There we go. So very creepy. I look very cool though. I don't know, my character feels like it's walking slowly. I don't know what it is. Um, but there's a new feature with this. So let's just... Uh, Let's just pop this back on, and we're probably going to need to sprint to my house doing this. So, if you have a balloon and you start sprinting, there is a feature that has now returned, which used to be based on Katrina. And she told you if you were having a lucky day or not. So let's hope we don't do it behind the trees. Okay, so we've not fell, uh, which sort of alludes to what it is. But she'd apparently tell you if you were having a lucky or unlucky day. Um... But obviously, we've not had any new villager added or any new NPC. So, let's just grab another balloon and see if we are unlucky. So, we'll use the pink one, but then I'll show you what happens when you wear the Tutu Carmoon one or King Tut. So, let's get our handy little balloon out. I don't want to fall behind the trees where you guys can't see it. So, I'll get to a nicer bit of the island. I also don't want to trip down the stairs because that would hurt quite a lot. Uh, so let's just sprint and see what happens. So you don't need to press anything. You do just need to sprint. So I mean, obviously holding B would be beneficial. Let's not uh, trip behind the trees there. Let's see if we can get our character fall uh, to fall, which would be quite cruel. But there you go. He tripped, which is very sad. I mean, the way they fall and they lose their balloon is horrific. But you know, you lose it. But now... Let's try it with the uh, the King Tut mask and see what happens here. So, you know, we've got a nice blue one, the sort of blue and the gold. I mean, you could say purple. But let's try and sprint with this and see how we get on. Yeah. As you can see, you fall a lot quicker. Um, quite a lot quicker. So, it's due to how heavy this headwear is that every few steps, literally, we're talking like 10, 15 steps, probably at most, there again. You don't get very far before you fall straight on your face. Which is kind of sad to see. You know, I don't I don't like doing this to my villager. But this is only with this helmet or, of course, the balloon. So, what we're going to do to just wrap up the episode here. Uh, just so we don't keep tripping, you know. We are... We'll pop the, uh, the space helmet just straight back on. You know, we need our, our iconic outfit. And then we are just going to place it. Give it a quick swivel. And there we go. Very nice. Fits very nicely with the museum. And again, if you have Anchor, then uh, you could probably do something cool. But I'll roll the clip at the end of this, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. I do hope you really enjoyed. If this video helps you out or was interesting, I have lots more Animal Crossing content that you should definitely, definitely check out. We've got loads more coming. We've got some other games coming to the channel. And like I mentioned a few super secret projects as well but like i said guys that is it for today's video if you do want to stay tuned for the anchor house from osim plays uh, again he's on the discord so he's probably going to share his dream code so you should definitely check that out but i'll roll the clip after the outro so you guys can see it but like i said that is it for today's video thank you so so much for watching until next time peace out take care and stay safe
Okay, so I've just uh, been streaming over on Twitch, and chat is here now, and we have Osin Plays. Here he is. Uh, just presents himself nicely. Um, just touring around the island, you know. I've given him a few of the uh, the cool hacked things we've got, uh, which I have videos on, and join our Discord down below. But he um, he's made something that immediately had me shocked. I wish I was recording my exact reaction, but. Yeah, you may recognise that house in the background if you're a fan of her, but yeah, there is gold walls, there is a gold and silver floor, gold statues, the gold casket, the swords, the, uh, the zodiac furniture, the treasure chest, the pyramid, I mean her on like a shrine, which is nuts, unknown holster, hi YouTube. I'm sure YouTube will say hi to you as well. Um, this is this is insane. She's got literally her own little Egyptian house area, and there's a little bit of the uh, the stuff going on up there. But damn! So this is good inspiration for anyone that wants to do uh, like an anchor themed garden, which is wild Egyptian and just looks absolutely sick. And I'm probably going to steal this for mine. So when we do our redoing the island series, I'll probably put this clip in if I steal the idea. But yeah, shout out to him for that. 